Here at the Hub Dining Hall, students and employees can eat food from any of the eight available eateries. Pizza, soup, salad, Indian food, you name it, they have it. But for people suffering from celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, even a decision as simple as what to eat for lunch can have dire consequences. What's going through your mind if you're choosing to eat in a place like this? There's definitely a lot going through my mind right now, for sure. The human digestive tract normally cannot break down gluten, which is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. This isn't a problem for most people, but for Sarah Lorimore, who has been clinically diagnosed with celiac disease, gluten creates an autoimmune response in her lower intestine. I actually got just really sick, really tired, and it was a prolonged period of time, and eventually got to the point where I couldn't feel my feet, I couldn't feel my toes. So I was actually admitted to the ICU, and they did a full body MRI, CAT scans, um, all these different tests on my nervous system, and everything came back negative. As a last effort, Sarah decided to try a new diet called paleo that eliminated processed foods, dairy, and grain. It wasn't mainstream. I didn't know anybody doing it. And really, within a month, I was fine. I was basically totally fine again. Fortunately, a treatment for celiac disease is in the works at the University of Washington Institute for Protein Design. An idea came from a group of undergraduates competing in the 2011 International Genetically Engineered Machine, or iGEM, competition. Dr. Ingrid Poltz advised the students as they worked to design an enzyme that could be swallowed as a pill, survive in the stomach, and to break down gluten before it reaches the intestines and provokes an immune response. That's a gluten. Mm -hmm. It would break down gluten, uh, which is difficult, and it would work very well in the human stomach, which is also difficult. So in this model... It... Dr. Poltz and her team of undergraduates took an existing enzyme that could already survive in the stomach and used a program called the Rosetta Molecular Modeling Suite, developed by UW's Baker Lab, to build and test a new enzyme that can break down gluten. The team of students would go on to win the iGEM competition with a prototype of the enzyme, but some felt that their research needed to be taken further. And we decided that uh, we can't just let this technology sit on the shelf, as is what happens with a lot of these undergraduate student projects. Poltz started to work with the UW Protein Design Lab to perfect the design her team of students had started and one day take the enzyme to market. Our plan is to spin out a company uh, in late 2015. And to be able to have that reassurance to take a pill and then know even if I choose the gluten-free option on the menu, if there's cross-contamination in the kitchen, that I have that extra protection, it's, it's just huge to have that. What started as a student project has been carried forward by the UW's Institute for Protein Design and may very well be a great relief for those around the world affected by celiac disease and gluten intolerance. I'm Austin Seedentoff, and I'll see you next time.